Paige McKenzie watching Say Young Kim at the first hole continuing to pour it on. Yeah, the first three days had looked nearly flawless, taking advantage of these birdie opportunities. Me Rim Lee shocked everyone with that hole out extravaganza. This was Brooke earlier at fourth. So went out aggressively, was able to pick up a birdie early on. This front side has given up quite a bit of scoring, so you want to get off to a hot start. And she did what she was supposed to do in the first few holes. Victory just a few weeks ago is not going quietly. No, we've seen that from her, uh, kind of late in the round, hole in one yesterday to put a little pressure on Se Young Kim and trying, trying to put some pressure on her today. Then for Birdie, had a chance to narrow the lead, but. She knows how to answer, and that's what we've seen anytime she's been. Black belt in Taekwondo can't quite punch back here, and Ali McDonald has about three or four feet. The hill all the way to the hole, but the slope is steeper the first two thirds. Flattens out a little right here. Oh, what a good effort. We've seen a lot of the, the tap ins, the no stress pars from Say Young, which is exactly what she has to do. You know, continue to put herself in position and give herself looks at these birdies, but pars are not. To the ninth. Lydia for birdie. Got quite a bit of movement on that one, but uh, she read it well. Yeah, didn't quite hit it coming down the hill there. So Lydia will finish the first nine holes here in the final round of the Pelican Women's Championship. Six under par, Lydia, just outside the top five. She made a lot of those putts yesterday. Solid par save. Important par save. Huge. Missed the green left, up and down. It's been a solid season for Jessica Corda. Hasn't really threatened to win this season, but that's a second straight birdie, and Jessica moves it to four under par on her round, and she's tied for seventh place. This flag today is located on the higher front portion of the green. This is a wedge from 125. Oh. Oh. All downhill from here. Come on. Maybe downhill Come on. into the hole. Tremendous oh. putt. Really nice. She's got some momentum going, does Ali? I mean, she birded the fourth, birded six, birded seven, get it to 11 under par, and now she has a chance to get one shot closer because Se Young Sim still has quite a lot of work to do to make par. Best finish this season, she's played 12 events, which is a lot. It is 13th. Needs to turn quickly. My fiance is caddy out here for uh, Christy Kerr. She said they had a good chat going into the weekend. He said, you just got to play your own game. Don't worry about the other players you're with. If your game's good enough, just concentrate on playing your own game. Don't get um, put off by what's going on around you. You're banking on I-4 traffic not being bad. Robin Ree for birdie at the 15th. Good week for the third-year player from California who's just finished uh, her penultimate semester at U.S. And this on the fringe to get it close, even though there is some slope from back to front. Until you get to the big reverse tier in the middle of the green. Drop points. Yep. Okay. Sure. Meadow, 10. And even though she was farthest away, probably the easiest putt up the hill and straight. You heard her say, she introduced herself, dog named Dallas, a tie for sixth in her last event of the season last year. Good try. They moved the tee up again today, 371. Um, it's 435 on the card <laughs> with uh, the wind into their face on this hole early in the week. It was really tough. Some players couldn't even get to the green. Remember, 139 yards going with the 9 iron. It'll be an easy one. Very easy one. Just left of the hole. 
Oh, how soft yeah, did that land? Good job. What'd you hit? Yeah. A young to stretch the lead. Turning right. So matching pars for McDonald in second place and the leader, Say Young Kim. Just a little right. Not sure who will go first there. Maybe Allie. Jody, you had shut off for a round of 64. Oh, Jody. Gonna be a 65 to end the week, but 64 would have tied the low number for the Pelican Women's Championship. And Jody struggling with some back problems coming into this week. Lydia Co on the tee. This is a nine arm for Lydia. Whole location on that right side today. There's plenty of green to use. There's the trouble is you just don't want to go long. Mm, yes. I make it three for three, don't we? Here. I was going to say for the trifecta. It's a much shorter effort here. All right. Oh, Easy hole. <laughs> Henderson next. Brooks using an A-turn. The, the tee box has been moved a little bit forward and a little bit more to the left to create a different angle for these players into this right flag today. Yeah, all right. Let's make some yeah let's. Okay. Brooke for birdie. Not wishing to let a great tee shot go to waste. Speed to drop in the hole. So two for two for this penultimate grouping today. Two good looks at birdie. And here's Austin Ernst from longer range. It is with a bit of movement to the right as well. But the players in this group are almost oh, playing their own little match wow. and that'll help us. <laughs> Looking pot. Wow. wow. Awesome. Great big. up and down. Really big. Get a little deflated when you end up in a sand filled divot. Maybe thinking, you know, golf gods aren't really on my side today. Yep. A lot of times when there's tension, that's when you start to speed, speed control get off. Better lie and an uphill lie, which makes the shot a little more doable. Wow, well, that looks Great nice. Job. <laughs> we haven't seen her miss a lot of green. It'd be fairly intimidating when you look at how these greens are and all the different undulations around them and the, the tightness of the, the fairway grass. And that's a shame to let that one go. But as we've seen with Say Young Kim, she has no fear. <laughs> right. Owns the record for the lowest score in the history of the two. Turning slightly left. Oh. Yeah, the mistake was made on the tee. It was going to be a difficult up and down, whether she used the putter or the wedge from where she was beyond the green. Par putt at 13 for Brooke. So she remains eight under. Tied fourth is eight under par. Short drive home for Brooke, a couple of hours down to the Fort Myers area. In uh, her earbuds, so it was very similar. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe wow. there was comfort in that. Beautiful putt, great save. Needed save. A huge up and down at eight. Be a pop off, she shot 64 on uh, Thursday, had a chance for a 63. Birdie here, oh. yes. <laughs> well, the, the putter cooled down for her over the next couple of days, so got one back there and riding a pretty decent round today. Third shot at the par 5 14 for Austin Ernst. <laughs> Tied for third place at eight under. One by nine, you know. Right. Ernst for birdie. Uh, yeah, sure. If you want to kill B pack real quick. And a great opportunity. Great up and down. Stays within three. Still a chance. 
World Golf Invitational at Galgorn Castle Golf Club over in Northern Ireland. And um, she beat Charlie Hall to win there. So that gave her a little confidence, even though it wasn't an officially sanctioned event. Amazing to see how much distance she's got on, on this hole in particular. Ten yards past Brooke off the tee shot and only had 30 yards left. This hole definitely and a tremendous up and down there too. Young remains 14 under. Okay. Yep, good shot there. Long game, pretty good too. You've mentioned that, Grant. Then you look at for the season. Just a little off the right. Been a little bit loose, so one good wedge shot can change that. 66 yards from an uphill lie into the breeze, you can make this one dance. Ooh. Nice. Young just lipped out earlier for Bert. Jessica Cord is putting together a nice final round. She's got this for Birdie at 17. Outside chance here, but looking very good. Oh. So it gets her to six under for the day. So par at the last will be uh, a 64, equal to the lowest round of the week for Birdie at 17 to get it to six under for the round, get it to eight under par for the week. By my calculations, if she stays in a tie for third, it'll be the 55th time in her career she's finished inside the top five. So get Jennifer to five under for the round. Five. Playing alongside Angela Stanford and Mel Reed. Henderson for birdie. She'll be looking to try and uh, bounce back after only making par on the previous hole. I say bounce back as Brooke loves to birdie sure. those par fives. <laughs> Man, she's been so close today you know a good round and hanging in there two under on the day but she's had some opportunities to try to make a charge she's played aggressively that's in low with a bunch of spin turning left oh just turn on. Wow. You like a good line. Yes, very <laughs> perceptive there. Excellent line. A really good shot. One of the best you've seen. Yeah, well done. And she broke up that. Yeah, breaks out of that tie. For a highly trained professional, slight uphill lie, plenty of green with which to work, medium length shot. Splash it out, let it release a bit. Wonderful play. The rakes here have those quite fine, quite thick tines on them, and some of the bunker rakes can leave deep groove. It's a three for Se Young Kim. No damage. After an, a poor tee shot at 12, she got it up and down for a three. Poor tee shot at 15. That's a really, so good. really good. I think that's, that's one of the hardest putts when you go up and then back down. You really have to be able to judge uh, the speed that much better because the tendency for it to get away from her is there. Good, good two three. Back. Yeah, good three for Ali. Still four behind. Went to the 18th with a chance to birdie and had the low round of the week. Instead, oh. she'll give a shot back. Can't believe it. Tom mentioned 55 top fives, although that drops her into a tie for seven. 54, that would have been 55. She's 11th on the career money list. Lydia Ko. This from 99 yards back into the wind and we've seen Lydia be a magician from this distance in the past. And pretty good this time. Mm -hmm. Flag fairly tight on the front of the green. Lydia Ko above the hole at 17 for birdie. 
It was a delicate putt there, Tom, down the hill. Yeah, it can get away from you. This green, as we've talked about all week, one of the flattest greens on the golf course, but still has some subtle undulations, not easy to read. One of the smaller greens as well. That was not her best putt. No. But she, I mean, aside from the two bogeys to start the day, she's she's played, I think, the best in this group. I, we haven't not seen as sharp of a say Young Kim or Ali McDonald as we did yesterday. Um, but Stephanie Meadows really hung in there. She's had four birdies on the card. For a dominant player, say Young Kim. It's a five shot lead with two holes to play. As important as the distance here and with the wedge, you don't hit it offline much. Go. Go. Perfect. Wow. It's perfect in the end. <laughs> she knew that it was going to be tight. I think it pitched right on the edge of the bunker. Yeah. Yeah, she learned a lot. That's really well done. And that's kind of big right now. Yeah. Well, second here is one hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. Third is one hundred and five. So, say young Kim for birdie. You're wasting no time at all reading this putt. Just steadily left the whole way. Ease it down there. Make the four. I had a good conversation with uh, Caddy Paul Fusco, and I was uh, watching her warm up today, and he said. You know, Feels like what they've been doing over the last six years working together has all been building towards this moment. Which she makes. So they will go to the 72nd hole. All tied up at 10 under. Five behind Se Young Kim. That's right where she was looking, 15 feet left or so. Wow, that landed so softly. Maybe. What a shot. You just got to see yourself and believe that you can be there. How about it? What a way to Tell finish. so much about herself, too. Just clutching up and hitting that shot into this green mm. in a tight battle for second. Her checking account tomorrow. It's all right. <laughs> She's done it again. Say Young Kim follows up her first major championship with her 12th career title. The winner of the inaugural Pelican Women's Championship. She's about to be inside the bubbly. Oh, 